In this one, I'm going to talk about rotation, and I used this kind of as an example. This is what rotation looks like. And there are a couple things that you need to know in order to do rotation problems. You need to know, well, there, let's keep looking at it. What clockwise versus counterclockwise looks like. So clockwise is rotating that way. This is clockwise. Clockwise because that's the way an analog clock goes. And counterclockwise is the opposite way. Counterclockwise. And then you need to know what 90 degrees looks like. So this is 90 degree rotation. It's a 90. 180 degree rotation. Uh, 270 degree rotation, right? So that's 90, 180, 270. And then, I don't think we use it, but a 360. A 360 really doesn't do much, right? And most of you should be familiar with that because you watch the X Games or skateboarding or snowboarding and everyone's doing like uh, 360s and 180s and 270s and all sorts of crazy tricks or something. Yes, Mr. Barr trying to stay relevant. Okay, here we go. Rotation. See this point P? Here are the instructions for it. Graph the image. Why don't I call it P? It's an M. Graph the image of M after a rotation of 180 degrees counterclockwise around the origin. Counterclockwise, 180 degrees. Counterclockwise means it's going to be going this way. And 180 degrees means it's going to basically be, well, going 180 degrees. Now, piece of paper, scissors. Tell me to do this. So it's going to go around the origin. So here's my origin, and here's my point P. So I'm just lining it up. Now, here's a rotation of 90 degrees. If I did 90 degrees, the point would end up right here. But I'm doing 180 degrees. Ready? And the point ends up right there. Oh, I think it's going off. So the point now is right there. Now, there's kind of a mathematical way to do it too, although I like this paper method, and you can use the paper method. This point was at 8, comma negative 4. M prime is at negative 8, comma 4. Hmm. So there's kind of a connection here. <coughs> Man. Negative 8, 4. 8, negative 4. I'm not going to make a rule for you on that, but you can be aware of it. Because I don't want you just to do rotations based on some rule. Go, oh, 180, I need to just change the signs. I want you to be able to think it through. Let's look at another one. We are going to rotate this 90 degrees clockwise. Here's clockwise. 90 degrees. Let's see, do I have a piece of paper that'll work for this one? There we go. Just a little piece of paper. I put my little piece of paper right there. There's the point K. And here's the origin. Now I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees. 
Once again, sound effects. And where is it at now? Oh, looks like it's right. It's right. Look. Right there. And where is that? Well, the original K was at negative 5, 7. And the new K is at 7, 5. So once again, you're seeing a, a connection between the numbers. But I don't want you to just do this based on some kind of a rule. I want you to really try to figure out how in your mind to rotate these through different degrees. And I have one final one. This is going to be a rotation of 270 clockwise. Okay. Well, he's starting here and he's going to go 90. So he's here. That's a 90. That's a 180. The 270 is going to end up over here clockwise. Okay. Okay, here we go. So I have to keep this point at the origin. Here's a 90. It's right there. Here's a 180. 180 to right about there. Here's a 270. To right there. So there's my W prime. And now let's look at the connection. This was at 9 comma negative 5, and this one is at 5 comma 9. And that's it for reflection, no, not reflections, Ro rotations. Rotations. Woo, whoa, whoa, wow, okay, sorry. Should not have done that. Okay, bye-bye.